Hi, I'm Brian Stewart at Clarity Experiences. We're here today to talk about hybrid events. I'm here with my co-host, Adam Finley. Hey, Adam. Hey, Brian. Well, that's one way to do it. So in the virtual world, in the hybrid world, the challenge now becomes how do you engage the virtual attendees just as much as you do the live attendees? So as a presenter, how can you engage both audiences, Adam? Yeah, so for the in-person audience, nothing has changed, although it's been a bit since we've seen someone on a live event stage. The same things are still important. Great lighting, interesting visuals, whether that's slides or opening videos or charts. And of course, you gotta have interesting content. For the remote audience, they need to see something slightly different. A more immersive camera angle, so they can see the expressions of the presenter. And it's helpful if you can mix the camera shots. So sometimes showing the presenter on stage, sometimes mixing that with a wider shot so the remote audience can see the virtual audience in the room. What about connecting the two audiences together? Yeah, so some events are including monitors, which has the virtual attendees in the physical room. So think big LED screens or big projector screens on the sides of the room. Now it's important where you place those. If you put them two front and center, it can be distracting. People aren't gonna be watching the presenter, they're gonna be watching the people at home. You also wanna make sure you can take questions from the in-person audience and the virtual audience. And there's software and platforms that we can help you out with that. And you wanna make sure for both audiences, whether it's videos or the slides, that the screens you're showing them on are big enough so that everyone can see them, whether that's in the room or their laptop at home. So most important, take the pressure off of your presenters by having a great moderator. A moderator is gonna take the questions that come in from the virtual audience, questions that come in from the live audience, and pass those questions on to the presenters on stage so they can answer them without having to worry about the technology. That's great, Adam. And the moderator can not only take Q&A and questions from the audience, they can also engage with attendees. Yep. Great, thank you, Adam. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.